Hi guys, Anthony and Bob Barker are back again, and today we're gonna to be going over how we made this weight rack. So let's get into the build. So after I made that little storage cabinet for my mom, it got me thinking and I realized I needed to do something for my dumbbells, because um, right now I just had them just laying on the ground in, in a, a closet and it just wasn't very kind of functional or organized. So I figured I'd make this dumbbell rack uh, just to kind of help improve that situation. Um, my goal for this is really I just wanted it to be cheap and functional since it's going to be sitting in the closet. Um, so what I'm doing here is I just got a whole bunch of 2x4s from the box store and I'm cutting them down to, uh, to the size I need. And uh, I chose like a 20 degree angle for um, the shelves on this thing so you can see the, the saw is kind of uh, angled for a lot of these cuts. And then after I have those all chopped down to size, next I just need to start making the basic frame. Um, so a lot of this I'm kind of just going by the seat of my pants as I'm doing it, um, but it ends up working out well in the end here. So I'm just doing like kind of a little dry fit of how I wanted this to, to set up. And um, after I was doing it, it was a little difficult, so I decided just to kind of get these other straight pieces of wood just to kind of help me line up everything as I'm uh, screwing it all together. And for all of the joints in this, I did glue and uh, screws because I wanted it to be uh, decently strong just to hold the weights. Although I really don't have that many dumbbells. So after I have the first one screwed into place, I put the other one uh, in and measured it carefully because I wanted to make sure all the spacing would be equal in between each one of these shells, you know, front to back. And so then once we're happy with that, then we can go ahead and screw that into place as well. And then move on down to the third shelf on the bottom. That's gonna be the basic side frame. So once I had that together, I did wanna check just to make sure it's looking the way I'm expecting it to. And I did wanna mention on that very bottom one, I actually did have to shave off just the front part because I got my measurements a little bit off, so it was hitting the ground, so it wasn't gonna sit right until I did that. But now that we're happy with it, we can go on to repeating that process and doing the second one. Now as I was doing this, I was trying to decide how I was gonna do the shelves. Initially, I was gonna put the shelves just on top of these side supports, but then I decided it'd look a little cleaner if I just added another extra piece on top of this and then put the shelves on that, so then it hides it from side view. Um, so that's what I'm doing here is I'm just cutting down those little extra pieces that I can put onto those uh, one, the blocks that I just put in, and of course these do have those angled cuts on them as well, so they fit in nicely. So to attach those, I'm just kind of marking off half of uh, this, these uh, little two by four pieces, uh, drawing a line on it where I want them to sit, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put a ton of glue and uh, lots of screws in there because this is where the main uh, weight is gonna be sitting on the shelf, so I want that uh, joint to be nice and strong. So after I did that to both sides, next is to chop the pieces that's gonna be for the shelves. Um, for the size of rack I'm doing, this is probably a bit overkill, but I just got more 2x4s because luckily they're not as cheap as they were uh, in recent times. Um, so we just cut out three for each one of the shelves, and I just did a dry fit here using those 90 degree positioning squares to kind of hold up my side pieces along with some other clamps. And then once I was happy with how they were all sitting, I just put in a few screws um, in each one of those uh, 2x4 pieces uh, directly into the supports below it. And then on this angle, you can also see how I had to shave off on that bottom shelf. Um, honestly, now that I, that I look at the finished product, I probably would have did that little kind of shave off just to minimize profile on the top two as well. But that's really not a big deal. So next up, we're going to be cutting the pieces that I'm using just to kind of dress up the front of this. Because um, even though it is in the closet and I'm going to paint this, I didn't want to all to look fully, just all two by fours. So for this one, I just got the same uh, uh, cheap kind of white wood uh, from the box store and just cut it down to size that I'm gonna be needing just to kind of put like a little uh, face frame type of thing on the front of this. And to get the angle that I needed just to do a miter here, I just got some scrap pieces and I just kind of changed the, the angle on my miter saw until I got it just right. And don't ask me why I decided to do this up like, with the pieces standing up versus just having them flat and just kind of angle this all the other way, but that's just what I ended up doing for some reason. And since these pieces are really just for aesthetics and not anything structural, I just put a, uh, some glue there, kind of held them in place, and then just got my 
uh, brad nailer and that'll secure it and then after I'm done with everything I'll go through and just do a little wood filler just to cover up those small holes and then the other function that these uh, pieces actually do have is just like a small little bump on the side of where the dumbbells are going to sit so it just gives a little bit of a lip so it's not as easy for them to kind of slide off the side for any particular reason so then after that, we're going to go ahead and put uh, the pieces in the front. That's going to be a little bit of a lip, to, one, to kind of dress this up, but also to hold the, the dumbbells in place. Now, when I first did it, I was initially going to tack it, and then I thought to myself, uh, that's going to need more strength than that. So then I put some screws in there um, as well. But even after that, it just kind of felt like it might not be strong enough. Um, even though honestly, it's probably going to be fine. Um, so I, what I'm going to end up doing is I'll put it in all three of those pieces and then we're going to end up putting another piece right in front of it just for some little extra strength so it can't rip off later. So now we're going to move it on to, uh, to where the dumbbells are going to sit. And for that, I did have some MDF left over from prior projects. So this is just like a half inch MDF. So I'm cutting it down to size. And for the Two lower shelves, I also had to add these notches uh, using my jigsaw, um, and that's because uh, those uh, white wood pieces I put in front um, kind of created a little, uh, little bit of notch there, but you can see after I did that, they fit in nice and snug with it. So once we have all those to size, we're just gonna glue them down. Honestly, that's probably more than you need because the glue is gonna hold it real good, but I threw in some brad nails on them all too, just to be extra sure. Now, I know it is hard to see on here, but you can the size of the MDF is smaller than those trim pieces on the side, so there is a little bit of a lip there. And don't pay any attention to the wobble in this thing. It's not that it's not uh, level, it's just that my ground is just too wobbly everywhere, so once I actually get this in place, it doesn't move at all. Um, so these are the little extra pieces that I was talking about earlier um, that I ended up adding just for a little bit extra support to make sure that the dumbbells never knock off that little front uh, face piece. So that's the main uh, structure all put together. So now it's just some finishing touches. Um, so after I did the wood filler, I just went by and kind of sanded all the extra pieces off. And I just brought it outside because my plan for this one is just to do some spray paint on it. Now I do have uh, better spraying equipment, but I was just feeling really lazy about actually getting it out and cleaning it afterwards. And like I said, this is going to be in a closet, so I didn't think it really mattered uh, for this particular piece. I was just trying to hide it a little bit so you couldn't quite uh, notice the 2x4s as much. And as I'm doing this, I'm not being too careful with the actual platforms because um, I wasn't worried if it was uh, particularly even because I am going to be covering those with some mats later. And of course, I ran out of spray paint right when the supervisor came to check it out, which he did uh, comment on. So after a run to the box store, I got some more spray paint and finished up. And the last part is just to get the mats cut to size. So I just ordered these online and cut them down to the size that I needed with a box cutter. And I just set these on the rack. Um, they stay in place really well and they don't really need to be glued or anything. All right, so that's the build. It was fast, easy to build and cheap materials and it's very functional. So that's gonna be it for this time. Uh, hope you guys like uh, the videos that we're putting out and we'll try to get back to our regular schedule. So we'll see you in the next one.